Okay, everybody, so let me show you what I've done since last episode. It's been quite a bit. I tried not to do, like, a crazy amount, but, um, yeah, let's just get started. First, I added in some entryways to the actual inventory uh, system itself. There, there, and there, just because, to be honest, these are the only openings that didn't have hoppers in the way. Um, these up here are definitely going to get changed because I don't really just, like, you know, just sea lanterns, you know. I'm going to do something up here, but for now, <clears throat> I just left them as, you know, some sea lanterns to tell me where the hole is. And then I did make it a dark hole with some more sea lanterns down over here. And as you can see, this whole area is now done. I added in the music discs, <clears throat> the books, the potions. Um, I added like an ender chest, a jukebox, a crafting station. And this room is completely done. Um, over here is my super, super temporary to-do board. Obviously, a lot of things from the other base I'm going to have to, you know, move over here. Um, let's see. Uh, I know I showed you guys the full um, separation system or, you know, the full inventory system. But <clears throat> the one thing I didn't show was the fact that um, the beginning of the hopper line is all the way up there. Now... How do I get the items up there, you know? A lot of... Originally, I was just going to fly up there and just, like, put the items in the sorter. But, you know what? I thought, no, that's lame. I'm going to put the sorter down here. Um, because I just want to, you know, be doing my inventory, come over here, drop stuff off. You can see that's some stuff that I'm currently sorting right now. And then walk away. I don't want to have to fly somewhere. So... The next thing I did was this. So you can see that I have a sorting system here. So anything that I put in here will get sorted. All of that comes through the back. And I'll talk about all of this stuff in a minute. <clears throat> and it comes over here. And you can see the hoppers go down. And I can just kind of go into my little Zelda Link mode over here. Uh, Ganon's Fortress type deal. And it's going to be <clears throat> just a very, very, very tiny little crawl here. Um... The ending is basically right there. And then, yep, once we get over here, we're going to come to an item elevator. And you can see that it's actually currently working because I am moving stuff through my um, system here. So all of the items come over here. And this is the standard um, item elevator. This is my favorite one. I forgot where I got it. But it's basically just a row of, I think they're droppers. Yep, droppers with a block right there. And then uh, observers facing into those blocks. And then right next to it, observers facing up. Except for this first area here, we've got an observer out <clears throat> into this little mechanism right here. And that is the simplest dropper you, or elevator you could find. The item makes its way up right into bang right here. And <clears throat> now this is where the sorting system was left off last time. So basically all that I did was instead of running up there to put in the items we can just um, put them in that chest and they'll get sorted. So it's much, much more convenient. There's a bit over here, but I'll talk about that in a second here. <clears throat> so I did finish that. And then this is where the non-sortable items go. So these are the items that I ran through it already that aren't able to be sorted. And by the way, by the way, if you guys hear a little cat, my cat is at my window. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to let him in right now. So you might hear a little meow here and there. But yeah, so that was the bulk of the project. Now, you might be wondering what all these are. These are items that I'm currently sorting because, as you know, um, we just came from the other base. So I had to move all of the items to this new base. So I extended out a little hopper line for me to just stick a bunch of shulkers. And I'm actually close to the end here because this is the last of my items. And you might be wondering, well, how many items did you have to bring over? If you guys imagine all of these hoppers with a full shulker chest on them, I refilled this thing about six times. So however many chests, uh, hoppers this is, and then times six shulk. And then, so what is that? Like, uh, one, six, six, nine, nine, that's 27, 36, 45, 54, let's say about 60. So 60 times 6, that's 360. And then 360 times um, the 27 stack. So 360 times 27, whatever that is. <clears throat> so a lot of items. But this is the last of it. I have AFK'd here about three whole nights, like IRL nights. I've uh, AFK'd here 
and I got that all moved. So I guess that'll bring me on to the next subject of the inventory system itself. Last episode, I showed you guys a little sample of what I wanted to look like. Well, now the entire thing is done. So you could see that we could take a whole uh, walk around the whole inventory system. The only parts that aren't are these little holes, but obviously those are going to be entranceways to different parts of the building. So I'll take care of those later. But it is fully uh, built with black concrete up to down. I've got the little strip of sea lanterns, but yeah, as you can see, this was the other thing that had to take a very long time was, you know, I had to fill every wall up and down. I had to build the roof. I had to build, you know, the little encasings around all the chests. I had to do the floor, um, but that is now all built. And if we take a look inside, um, you can see that um, all of my stuff already basically got filtered. Yep. And this was i guess another thing that was worrying me was it going to be filtered correctly did i make any mistakes anywhere and surprise surprise no mistakes so far everywhere i've checked is perfect i mean i did a lot of tests um you know okay i want to make sure i didn't have <laughs> i didn't run out already <clears throat> i did a bunch of tests before fully moving over my uh, entire inventory but it's good to hear that everything is currently working now the inventory system is done. The sorting system over here is done. Most of the decorations for the inventory system is done. So I started moving on to the other side projects that I can do. And this is where I started some work but didn't finish it. So um, the first thing I wanted to do was a new bedroom. And real quickly, okay, so we are at the main base. And as you can see, my bedroom is currently empty. Um, a lot of the shulkers are gone. A lot of the chests are gone. Most of the mess is gone. Almost everything is gone. Um, so, like I said, we're focusing on the bedroom here. I needed to build a new bedroom. And I contemplated a while where I wanted this bedroom to be. And you could already pro you probably just saw it in the corner of your screen if you were super attentive. I decided to make the bedroom up there. So let's go ahead and take a quick ride up here. Obviously, I thought I wanted my bedroom in the coolest and the highest place possible. So that was the top of the tower here. And you might have already been tricked. Nope, those are not real mobs. Um, I just moved all of my heads and all that up here. Just temporary. This is just temporary. I just moved them up here. Um, but I was thinking, what type of design do I want for this um, bedroom? You know, my so far all of my previous bedrooms have been the i guess like lavish design you know a bunch of diamond blocks a bunch of emerald blocks just basically flex as hard as you can but for this one i want to go maybe a little bit of a different route i want to go the cool scenic route that is why i made the entire floor out of glass so it feels like you know i'm constantly high up the entire time um i built big old windows even like one drop one drop down block so I could see under because I want to have a good view of you know my base I want to have a good view of the ocean and forest around me because again this is the highest point base it's not the definite highest point in the game because technically up there is higher but I needed a couple blocks that I could play with um yeah that is the limit so we're basically up at the limit here but yeah so I haven't done too much with the with the bedroom except you know this is the core concept of it. I want it to be very, very scenic. Not super flexy like all my other ones. And I'll decide what I want to do with this room. Like I said, I have a big room, so I can do a lot with it. Now, along with the bedroom, I also did a little bit of building. As far as the big Dorito in the sky, I went ahead and put in some glass in here. You guys know it's just straight um, deep slate. Well, I added in the windows where I want the floor. So anytime you see a window, there's going to be like a, a whole floor right there. Another floor right there. So I will be using the big Dorito as, you know, floors. It's going to be a part of a building. Now, I haven't done the side yet and I haven't done the flooring. But just imagine that I'm just going to come over here. And then like right here, I'm going to stick a giant floor in. And um, I still have to figure out um, maybe an elevator system or a stairway system. But for now, I added in the glass. And I will, I should start working on this side very, very, very soon. Okay, um, and I think I've got one last thing to show you as far as updates of what I've done so far. If we come over here, I have the 
firework and food station, the tunnel to the end, as and a fix station. So, um, I guess let me go ahead and trigger home real quick. And as you guys know, my refill stations were right here, and this is what I've been using for the past couple months. And then my tunnel to the end was right here. And what else did I include there? I think that was it. And then, um, obviously, my totems were just over here in this chest. Well, I decided... Um, oh, and the fixed station is right there. I decided that a couple of those I want to combine. Really, the, all of the, the totem, the fix, the food, and the flight, I wanted to get those together. Um, so let me show you what I've done. So like you saw, I added in corners on my inventory room so each of these is going to go out so this one goes out to this room that one goes out to that window room this one is going to go out to more of an industrial place um so like you know my sorter is right here now the other main portion of my base where i'm going to start putting a lot of my utilities is over here and you can already see that i've worked on it a bit let me see let me use my inventory system for the first time um what where's night vision these are water breathing those are not night vision okay let you know what let me let me do this let's go ahead and take um <clears throat> a trip down memory lane because like i said we're moving from this base over to that base well how about we go and visit the first first base because actually a lot of stuff is still here from the first base so obviously trip down memory lane this was the first base this was our initial inventory system and that got increased to whatever we had there and now it's increased to a fully automated inventory system there's our egg um but yeah and again one of the coolest things i'm still so proud of this you can literally turn off the lights in my house oh yeah i don't know i was super proud of that but if we come over here in the basement this is where most of the utility is because i actually i still very much use this place um i all that concrete for the building was made here and this is currently my only automatic potion setup so let me go ahead and click the uh, carrot to make myself some night vision and uh, this does still work by the way um i think i have some night vision in here that i'm just gonna grab but it does still fully work and i still use it um i don't use the obviously the armor system because we made a new one um but anyway trip down memory lane and this was a kind of a foreshadowing hole right here because it's actually a really good place to fly through to get to the new base. Um, but okay. Anyway, enough dilly dallying. Let's go to the main part. Let me just drink a little night vision potion. Bam. We come over here. This is what I've been working on. Um, so you can already guess those are the new refill stations. I just did a little bit of black concrete on the floor and a little bit of a wall. Uh, I had to move some of these barriers. Um, I don't know how to explain it to you guys exactly what I did, but um, I basically had to make another little square here because it was, before it was just like the slant. So the slant was going down just like that. I made this little area so I could actually walk out here, um, but that's not really... Oop, I forgot that there's mobs over here. It's not super, super noticeable from the outside considering you know, it's the back anyway. But back to the main point, this is going to be the start of some of the more utilization places. Um, so I'll show you guys this in a second. I guess the first thing I'll show you is if we go over here This is where our new end tunnel is going to be So if you if we jump down here and then take a little flight, which is not that far away You could see that we're gonna hook up to the old end system Obviously if we were at my old base, we would come from over there But now since my new base is here, um, this will take us to the end and what's cool about this this system I had to take a corner this one, I'm not going to even have to take corners. I'll get a boat over there, and I just go straight. Meaning I don't have to slow down for that corner, which is actually... I know it's like, oh, you're going to save, like, less than two seconds every single journey. But, hey, I'm telling you, we're making upgrades, right? So now we got a tunnel to the end with no corners. It's just a straight shot. Um, Yeah, because originally I really wanted this end tunnel to be more in there. I really wanted to make it a straight tunnel so i'm gonna add this extra room out here i still have to build the walls but this is going to be an extra room i have to build because i wanted a straight tunnel but um moving on to this is the last thing i did before i started recording um that is the replenishing system right here let me drop this cob 
Um, but it does utilize the exact same system as the one at our old house, but this one's going to be a bit more versatile and we're going to have a bit more room for it, which is nice. So you can see that I'm using the exact same lever to comparator clock here. Once again, it's literally just a lever into a comparator just like this. And then um, I think we can keep that. Okay, so we do need to have it on there. So comparator that's on three blocks. And then from these three redstone blocks, you can just extend in any direction. And it makes this nice little pulse. And that is going to come up to these three dispensers. And then again, the utility of having more space into these three, uh, three dispensers, nine dispensers. I have room for double chests so I could have an auto refill. And then I just have the redstone going in a U shape because those ones will also be hit by these, uh, red, by this redstone bud powering basically. So, um, that is the system that I built and I did build, built that. Okay. Cause I, I still need to do a, a way better job of lighting this place up, but I built three of those and, it's, and they're just replicated modules basically with the same timer, um, same redstone system to get back up here, nine dispensers with some hoppers and some chests for refill. And then I have one last one here at the end, which is basically like a mini version. It has that same exact timer, but this one's only got one single dispenser. And I'll tell you guys what this is for. And you could probably almost guess by the color of the wool under it. So red is going to be for fireworks. <clears throat> Orange is going to be for food because you guys know I only eat golden carrots. Green is going to be our XP, um, <clears throat> basically fixed station. So in my last base, the food rockets and XP were separate, but in this, they're going to be the same. So instead of jumping into a little hole and pressing my XP button and then them me you know me closing it up me being enclosed in the system i'm just gonna do the exact same thing i do for food i'm gonna stand here and i'm gonna let the xp rain upon me and then lastly yellow this is one you're probably confused about that's just totems that's why i only have a single dispenser because i'm not gonna need 66 totems you know i'm gonna click this button for like two seconds and it's gonna give me like three totems and three totems is all i need once i run out in my inventory um so yeah i was gonna decorate it and start working on it but i thought I should probably record what it looks like before I decorate it. I'm going to start building up walls and stuff. Um, but I think that's everything that I did, um, which I know is oh, that's all you did. So yeah, I basically, I finished the entire inventory room. I added an item elevator up to the sorter. I added a bedroom. I added windows uh, in the Dorito. And then I also added this area with the fix station the rockets the food yeah so i think what i'm going to do now is i'm going to stop recording and i'm going to finish this place up a little bit i might stock it with food and rockets so i can finally use it and then i guess just keep doing that maybe i'll finish the dorito we'll see okay everybody so it's been a couple weeks actually and i've just slowly been doing work um i've had a lot of school as of recent but let me show you guys what I've been working on. So last clip, you guys kind of basically saw the exoskeleton of the redstone here. Well, now it is um, basically um, fully designed. So you guys can see I have the four that I talked about, the rockets, the food, the XP, the totem. I have a little design going where I have, you know, the squares of where the things would drop with their respective colors and wool just so it, it pops out. And I'm going to continue with the theme of, you know, kind of total darkness as far as this goes so you know i have you know uh, it's very very dark around this area and a couple other things so you can see that i have kind of continued the pattern that i have from over here of the you know dark walls dark floor dark ceiling and this the sea lantern so you could see if we go over here all of this is now dark and i have the sea lanterns going here i have this little junction and now this is where we get to the old stuff and you'll already kind of be able to see some of the stuff that i did for the outside but for this area over here, that's basically all I did. I also brought the uh, the concrete flooring all the way across this room here. So it is fully um, at least floored out. I have torches here for light just in the meanwhile. Um, but you could see I have also brought it over here. So all of this stuff has the black concrete. I have not done this part. And then a, a little bit of this part also has black concrete. So I kind of just expanded a little bit um, 
you know, and we're going to slowly expand. And this is another thing that I added off camera is my new head area. So if you guys remember in the old dome, we had just a little wall with heads. Um, well, uh, instead of a wall this time, I decided to actually have, you know, like stands. And these are all of the ones that I currently have at the moment. I have my extras kind of lying in here. Um, but yeah, these are the heads that I just have happened to stumble upon. Um, I might have to go head hunting for the couple that I'm missing, but this is what I have so far. Um, but yeah, that's really, this, this is what I've been working on a lot. But the next thing is the part that I'm excited to show you, um, which is the outside. And, you know, I've done a lot of thinking about what I want to do on the outside. And um, you guys kind of saw... I hope you guys, it was just last clip. For me, it was weeks ago, but for you, it should have just been a couple seconds ago. Kind of what the building looked like before. Well, let me give you a sneak peek on what it looks like now. Um, it's basically the same, but um, the aesthetic is a tiny bit different because of the blocks that I chose to use. So I'm going to go ahead and just let it load. And you can see a lot of sea lanterns. So um, I'm going to go ahead and bam, there we go. So that is currently um, what I've been working on. So... You guys know that this was basically all deep slate and, um, you know, deep slate uh, blocks, bricks, stuff like that, cobble. Um, and I was trying to find a good way to do the entrances. So, basically, this is uh, one entrance to right there. There's going to be one entrance there. Obviously, there's the main entrance there. There's an entrance there. Um, so, I was trying to figure out the best way to add some of the entrances, and I made these little triangles and i thought okay that's cool but it doesn't fix my problem of having a cool entrance so i just added these little sea lantern edges and then i basically said okay well let me try putting the sea lantern edges on here on the on the squares and so i was like okay cool then maybe i'll just add them on these and then i added it to the dorito and then i added it to the bottom and then now i'm just kind of like okay well i guess that's a design choice now um so this is cool because, I mean, it also has a little bit of utility because it works as far as light. So, lot of, you know, mobs spawn less on top of the building. But I do also think it looks cool. Again, I was really trying to go for the dark theme. And this sort of messes up the dark theme because now there's a lot of white in the build. Um, but honestly, the inside is still very, very dark. That's kind of the point. And again, I needed something to kind of show entrances. So... Um, that's what I got real quickly. Um, okay, and just if you were curious, this is what it looks like at night. Again, very, very cool. I think it looks cooler at night, obviously, because, you know, it stands out kind of like neon. Um, but this is currently what I'm working with. So um, now that you've seen the sea lanterns, let me show you kind of what I added, right? Um, again, I don't particularly remember what it looked like before. Um, but I added there was these three holes. So now I added this thing, this thing and this thing and they're not completely done um i'm thinking of maybe putting blocks in the middle here i'm not 100 percent sure um i've kind of decided that i'm going to continue this little pillar thing i'm going to continue to add it but that's still got to be built um and then oh one part that took a little while so you guys have seen this side of the dorito well the other side of the dorito is now also done so that's another thing that took me uh, let me see if I can land on this. Mm, oh, I just missed. Uh, oh, no, you know what? I'm dedicated. I need to get on this thing. Uh, okay, I am... Come on. I'm going to get on this thing eventually. There we go. So, yes, the other side of the Dorito is done both sides have the blue windows and uh, the sides done now what is not done is the inside so the inside is still hollow there's nothing inside of there but you know we'll get to that when we get to that first i want to work on you know the more important parts of my base um but yeah i think that is kind of the update of the past couple of weeks really so to summarize i kind of finished up the um food slash rocket area I, around half of the building now has the black concrete flooring. Um, I added these little entrances and I also added some little sea lanterns around the edges just to make it pop at night and, uh, you know, make it look a little cooler.